What's up guys, LBF back here and I am finally bringing you guys my top 15 bands from 2014 video. I've been saying I was going to do this for a while and I really haven't had a lot of time but I got a Saturday off again so it's time to make this video happen. Um, obviously this is the beginning of March so it's a little bit late but nevertheless it's not going to change the fact that all these shoes released back in 2014. So I'm going to start it off here with the Sean Cliver Authentics. Sean Cliver Authentic Pro actually. These guys released back in June alongside a pair of mid schools. This was a shoe that I wasn't uh, originally planning on picking up, but I did manage to find these on sale over at my local Val Surf. So uh, I wasn't really hesitant to pick these up with the price I got them for. I did not think I was going to like this shoe as much as I did. I do love the, the Vans aesthetic with the checkerboard pattern on the back. Also kind of having this like Rasta vibe with the different colors. The suede on this toe box and on the tongue is just such a nice suede. It's just a really, really soft suede. Um, they took a little bit of time to break into as far as comfort went. But once I finally got these guys going, they're definitely uh, an easy wear every day shoe very comfortable sean cliver the famous skateboard graphic artist of course you have some of his artwork in there with that lovely little guy and these guys came alongside with that hand deck which was a pretty cool freebie easy choice at number 15 sean cliver authentic pro moving on to number 14 here we got the vans vault times off the hook Varsity Authentic LX. These guys released back in October alongside a pair of skate highs which featured the same materials as well as the same colors. This uh, pack was I believe uh, modeled after a Varsity jacket. Obviously you got the term Varsity in there. These guys really spare no expenses when it comes to materials for these vault collaborations. I mean the leathers on this shoe are so nice. The leather's on the interior, the leather on the outside. The wool is really nice. I love this eggshell midsole here. Love the piping, love the laces. Just such a really dope shoe. And a very roomy shoe too, at that, um, for an authentic. Super comfortable. And it really does have a classic look as far as colors go with that, that eggshell, like I mentioned on the midsole. So this was uh, a no brainer for me coming in at number 14 on my top 15 list. Also, I did want to give an honorable mention to another off the hook collaboration, which dropped last year. And that was the black crab pack. Um, I did do a review on the authentics and unfortunately I did sell those. I was uh, going through a rough time and I needed a little bit of extra cash. Um, I was really uh, looking for another option, but that seemed to be the only option at the time. And I'm definitely regretting it to this day. So, that shoe definitely would have made it at least to the top three, along with the Skate High. Both of the shoes in that pack were just incredible uh, grails of mine for now, for sure. Um, everything about that shoe, the little details, I know a lot of people see it as just an all black shoe, but I think the cork insole, the, the mesh lining on the interior, the waterproofing, um, all the little off the hook, um, logos and whatnot, the little black crab on the inside, everything about that shoe was just so sick. And especially on the skate highs with the zipper on the back, got to give it to Off the Hook for creating such a dope collaboration. Um, as well as with the Varsity Pack here, very sick shoes. Coming in at number 13 here, we got the Vans Vault Originals Takahashi Skate Paradise OG Skate High. And this is in the black colorway. The pattern was designed by Taka. As you can see, you got the little skateboarding skeletons throughout with the palm leaves. Just a super dope graphic on here. Materials weren't exactly on point. The suede is pretty rough on these guys. Uh, I was a little bummed about that. But the wearability of this shoe just makes this shoe so awesome. I wear these all the time. Obviously, it's a black shoe. You can rock it with anything. Love the off-white midsole. Love the bleached canvas on here. Just a super clean shoe. At number 12, we got the Takahashi Skate Mid School LX in the Eclipse colorway. 
This was one of the debut colorways of this model from last year. Definitely my favorite colorway in this pack. I love this silhouette. It's just a really clean looking shoe. It reminds me of a skate high uh, when it's on feet, but it really does have that mid school feel, which is really nice. These are really easy to get on compared to a skate high. Materials always on point with a Taka shoe, no surprise there. Attention to detail, of course. You got that diamond pattern on the sides here. That suede toe box, which I love. Got that off-white midsole. The Widow's Peak point there on the heel. And even on the toe in the inside here, you got the chain link fence look. If you guys want to check that out, just check out the review on these guys. Loved everything about this shoe except for the tongue. Wasn't a huge fan of this off-white grayish tongue here being blended in with this really dark uh, Eclipse colorway. I believe if this shoe had an Eclipse tongue, it probably would have made it to my top five. I would have really loved this shoe, but nevertheless, it is an awesome shoe and I'm very happy to have these in my collection. At number 11 here, we got the Vans California Boot Leather Skate High Reissue Zip in the Henna colorway. These guys released back in October and came alongside a pair of Old Schools and a pair of Air Decons. This was definitely my favorite model among those three. This was actually the very first Skate High Zip that I've ever had in my size. Absolutely love this model. I will have all of the Skate High Zips that I have in my collection on this top 15 video. Definitely my new favorite model. As you can see, you got that copper zip in the back here and I do have the little tags, but I left them in the box because they always seem to fall off, which really sucks because you don't want to lose those guys. But nevertheless, you got this really clean henna upper, just an absolutely gorgeous color here. You can really wear these at any event. It definitely looks like a classy shoe if you're going out, if you're staying in. Very comfortable shoe. This material really gives. This boot leather is very soft. So definitely a great material, especially on a shoe that you're going to be wearing all day, every day. Super easy to get on with the zip here. Gotta love that. Just an awesome shoe here. And once I swapped those laces, this was just an easy go-to shoe for me. I was not a fan of the white laces. They popped way too much. I really like this little mono look I got going here. These laces match perfect. So at number 11, the California boot leathers. Coming in at number 10 here, we got the Vans Vault times Taka Hayashi Hirachi Era LX. This is in the Bordeaux colorway. These guys released back in October. And I gotta say, this is probably my favorite Taka pack to release last year. There were four shoes to release in this collection, two skate highs and two eras, two colorways of each model. I gotta say, this is probably my least favorite colorway, the, the Bordeaux one, but nevertheless, still made it to my top 10 list. I still love the color. The Bordeaux is like a brownish red color, which is really nice, almost like a super dark, heavy chocolate maroon. And this is just a super clean shoe. I mean, you could really wear this with almost anything, probably this color more so than the Mustang, but I really do love that Mustang colorway. You got the triangular perforation or triangular uh, engravings, I'm sorry, on the toe box here, which just make this shoe super unique. Never seen a pair of Vans that have that before. The material's always on point. Taka shoe, of course. The details, I mean, look at these eyelets. Those are crazy. The tongue, the embroidered tongue, super dope. The checkerboard's on the midsole, this crazy outsole. This is just an awesome shoe right here. Bordeaux colorway making it in at number 10. At number 9, we got the Vans Vault Original Style 36 LX in the coffee bean color. These guys released back in November alongside a STV navy color and a dove color, which is like a grayish, uh, light gray color. The coffee bean was most definitely my favorite color in this pack. You really do not see this color that often when it comes to Vans. It's like a super dark chocolate brown color. On top of the color, you have these really nice premium materials. You got the premium suede here on the toe box, up the eyelets, and then you have this super buttery soft leather here, making up the side of the shoe as well as the jazz stripe. The comfort level on these guys is definitely through the roof. Uh, these are probably the most comfortable shoes in my top 15 here. Very happy to have these, and I hope to get the other two in the future. At number eight, we got the Vans Ball Times Blends Skate High Reissue Zip in the Chili Pepper colorway. These guys released uh, mid-December, and this was a shoe that I wasn't originally planning on grabbing, but I think I changed my mind like the night before these guys released. 
thought I might as well go for them. Um, I did have a little bit of difficulty as did most people on their, uh, their website trying to cop these. I copped a 13 and obviously that ended up being way too big for me, but I was in hopes that I would be able to trade them for a size 12. Uh, after about a month of talks between two different people, I finally managed to cop my 12s and I'm super psyched about it. This was a shoe that I, uh, I didn't really think that I would be wearing that much being a bright red shoe but I actually wear these all the time. I've gotten plenty of wear out of these so far. And probably about the, the six or seven times that I've worn these, you can see there is barely any creasing on this toe box here. The leather is just immaculate on these. I really can't say enough about it. Definitely the best leather to come out of a collaboration, uh, Vans collaboration yet, at least in my opinion. I really hope to see uh, this leather used more often hopefully on some more skate high zips because I really do love this model Just a super dope looking shoe. Obviously you got that bone jazz drive. You guys already know about that. You know about that blends heat Really love this shoe. I really hope to grab another pair of these if I possibly can I, I do see a couple uh, Still floating around eBay. So you never know might have another pair to keep on ice Moving on to number seven, we got the Vans Vault Times Hui Chol Classic Slip-On LX. These guys feature that painted yarn upper and that checkerboard pattern. And these guys released back in September alongside a pair of skate highs. The skate highs in this pack also feature the Hui Chol work, but they have the beaded work while these guys feature the, the yarn work on here, as you can see. I think this shoe was kind of like the blends for me where I didn't really think that I would be able to rock these that much. But um, I think with there being so many colors going on here, it's pretty hard to keep the shoe looking subtle or to really match it with anything. So I really like that about this shoe. I think it, you can really wear this with anything. Any color that you have, you could rock these with. Even with a brown, which isn't even featured on the shoe, you could still rock these. I think that's what really makes this one of my favorites here. And it's a very simple looking shoe. Um, other than the bright colors, of course, just a simple all white midsole here, the black, the white, just a super clean looking shoe. It looks like you just drew on these at home, but you do have that yarn, which is like painted or glued on there, I should say, and painted. So giving it a very unique look. Absolutely love this shoe. I hope to one day get the skate highs, but until then I will be satisfied with just these. At number six, we got the Vans Vault Skate High Reissue Zip in the Peacoat colorway. These guys released back in May and it was part of the Suede Leather and New Buck pack, uh, one of many to release. These guys released alongside a black pair of Skate High Zips and a red pair of Skate High Zips. The black pair I, I absolutely fell in love with, one of my favorite shoes to date. Um, but I wasn't 100% sure on this blue pair since I never really saw them in person. But Off The Hook had this crazy sale a couple months back, I'm sure uh, some of you guys know. The 70% off sale, so I managed to pick these up for 60 bucks shipped, hoping that I would really like them. Once they came in, I was blown away by the, the quality. Obviously, it was the same as the black. I don't know why I doubted it in any way. But the colorway itself was just incredible. Um, I wasn't a huge fan of the STV blue that dropped back in 2012, but I really do like this deep navy color. I'm a huge fan of blues, but especially dark blues, so... These guys, uh, I wouldn't change anything about them. Featuring obviously pre premium materials here, you have the suede on the jazz stripe here, the new buck making up the majority on the toe box, the eyelets, and the heel. And then you have that premium leather here on the middle portion, which is kind of like the boot leather a little bit, maybe a little stiffer, but still a great leather. Definitely one of my favorite packs to drop last year. Rounding off my top five here, we got the Vans MTE Skate High in the Glazed Ginger colorway. This was by far my favorite GR to come out of last year. This is the only GR on my top 15 list. The MTE Skate High was definitely the best GR to come out of last year, and they've been releasing it ever since. Um, there's a couple different colorways out now. They've even taken the MTE side of things into the Cali line, which is pretty cool. There's some old schools, some eras, um, mid schools, all kinds of shoes featuring the, the MTE technology, which is really awesome. The lug outsole on here is crazy. I don't know why I didn't think of that before. Um, everything's reinforced. The jazz stripe, the, the heel, the tongue, 
the heel uh, tab here. Just so many details in the shoe. Just not something you would expect from GR. Just an awesome shoe. And this colorway is, is beautiful. It's gorgeous. I love this really light brown color. It's like a Dotson brown. I really can't beat this color in any other MTE model, at least in my opinion. On to number four, we got the Vans Vault Skate High Reissue Zip LX. This is in the black colorway. These guys also released alongside that Peacoat color from the Suede Leather and Nubuck pack. And these guys released back in May. Probably my favorite Skate High Zip to release yet. Uh, tied with the Black Crabs. This shoe is just incredible. You can really wear this with absolutely anything. Obviously it's black. Um, easy go-to shoe here. And pairing up with that off gray color on the midsole jazz stripe laces and the tongue. This is such an easy choice to wear every single day. I would not be surprised if this becomes a vault classic if they continue to release this shoe. I know this is the second time they've released this specific colorway, so I really do hope they continue to do it because I will pick up as many pairs as I can. Moving on to number three, we got the Vans Vault Times Takahashi Hirachi Era LX. This is in the Mustang colorway. These also released alongside that Bordeaux color back from October. But this is by far my favorite Taka shoe to release last year. And probably one of my favorite Taka shoes to release ever. I absolutely love this shoe. I even picked up a pair for my girl. The way that these materials go together, this micro suede and this woven piece, I really could not have done it better myself. Um, the details on this, obviously the same as that Bordeaux color. A little bit more subtle here with the triangular engravings on the toe box. But nevertheless, just such a good looking shoe. These details, I mean, honestly, you can't beat them. That outsole. I really do love it when Taka uh, uses these classic silhouettes for his shoes instead of the, the newer ones that he creates. I mean, nothing wrong with those, but I really do love the classics. Can't go wrong with an era. Finally, narrowing it down to the top two Vans here. At number two, I got the Vans Vault Times Blends Old School Zip LX. These guys released back in May, and this shoe really does hold a special place in my heart. Um, this is the longest I've ever camped out for a pair of Vans, and obviously it was definitely worth it. I met a lot of cool people. I picked these up for retail, not paying no crazy resale price because these do fetch a pretty penny. The quality of the shoe is, um, it's unheard of. I mean, the, the leather on this, the smell of the leather, this is a straight up motorcycle jacket transformed into a pair of Vans here. This is the very first time that they've done this zipper on the side of an old school. It is actually very functional, um, opposed to what you may think. I really hate having to tie my shoes up every single time I want to wear them, so having this zipper on the side definitely helps me out in getting these on the go in a hurry. Featuring that bone jazz stripe, you guys already know about that. Nothing needs to be said about that. Just a simple black and white shoe. Very, very wearable shoe here. Very happy to have these in my collection. And finally, my favorite pair of Vans released from 2014. This is the Vans Vault Originals times Stussy OG Skate High LX in the black 8-ball chapter exclusive colorway. These guys released in June. And as I mentioned, it was a chapter exclusive colorway, which means these were only available at select Stussy retail stores, as well as their online store up to a size 11, I believe. Those sold out real quick. I drove out to my local Stussy store and was camped out front. There was nobody there, so I just was kicking it on the curb. And unfortunately, two guys rolled up. I, I got right behind them in line. And one of those guys ended up picking up the only pair of size 12s that the Stussy store had. So I was super bummed on it at the time. Uh, the, the guy at the Stussy store was asking me if I was interested in the 11 and a half, and I was really hesitant. I, I just assumed that they wouldn't fit me. And uh, to my pleasant surprise, they ended up being a perfect fit. So I was super happy to pick these up. 
Stussy and Vance are my two all-time favorite companies. So to have them come together on such a dope looking shoe, um, I just had to have these in my collection. I am a huge fan of black and white shoes. I know a lot of people say it's just a black and white shoe. You can get that anywhere and it's not really anything special. Um, I just love that you can wear this with anything. I think that's the, the key um, to having a, an awesome shoe. It's, it's unique at the same time, obviously with the eight balls, the checkerboard laces here, but at the same time, it's very rockable. So this is definitely my favorite shoe to release last year. The suede on these is so nice. It's like an oiled suede or something. I don't know if that's just my pair or what. Um, and I don't know if it's the same for the red pair, but the suede is so nice on these. Definitely one of my favorite parts of the shoe. Got the black outsole. The little eight ball symbol is in the uh, on the footbed and on the liner. Can't really make it out because I got the shoe tree in there, but nevertheless, it's there. My two favorite companies coming together, creating a dope shoe. Super happy to have these in my collection. And there you have it guys, those are my top 15 picks for 2014. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and as always, be sure to stay tuned for more. Peace.